Hi, Geminis. I am going to do a general love reading for September 15th to September 30th. Make sure you check your moon and rising sign. I want to tell you guys thanks for all the support. All likes, shares, comments. I love comments. <clears throat> awesome. <clears throat> all of the private reading requests. So cool. <clears throat> I love doing private readings because they're just like, they're so much personal, right? And so far, I mean, just like the, the advice and guidance that Spirit has given me, you guys, to give to you guys is just awesome because there are so many changes going on. So um, I am going to use Oracle cards. Uh, I have to slip them in two decks or two parts to shuffle because I really don't hand, so. Um, so when we left you in your general reading, you had two paths you could take. Um, you could take the material financial path or you could take the path of emotions and love, right? And it could be emotions and love or it could just be something that is like a burning desire within you. There was a lot of love. There was a lot of um, abundance in materials. So, um, I'm really interested to see how this reading will go. So I'm going to pull four Oracle cards and then we're just going to clarify them. So we have refusing to see, seek the truth, just breathe, And success and growth. Very cool. The Leo reading actually got success and growth. So that's, it was in the first position. And this isn't really like on a timeline. This is kind of, this is just like a general thing. And this is for relationships and singles. I'm not going to split them up because I kind of feel like even though there's a relationship and there's a single balance that happens, I kind of feel like the energy is basically the same. So, refusing to see. What are you guys refusing to see? Is there something out there that you already know that you want and you are blocking it? Those two wanted to come out, so we're taking them. And they're very good cards, they're very good cards. You have the Fool, which is a new beginning, right before a new beginning. It's like you're getting ready to do that, but you can't see it. You can't see this almost beginning that's happening. And there's the Six of Cups. This could be like looking into the past. You're refusing to see what's in your future, um, your new start, because you're looking in the past. This could also mean past relationships could be past life relationships, or, um, you know, you're just like thinking about the love that you had in the past, and you would like to start a new beginning, but you can't see it. So we're seeking the truth. What is the truth? What are you guys seeking? Why do you need to seek the truth? You feel blocked with the Nine of Swords. And this isn't the resting card. Like the Four of Swords is the resting card. This one is actually being blocked within your thoughts. It's like you can't move out of this place of anguish. You know, if you look at her, that window is blocked with all the swords. And she's like crossing her heart. Like, you know, what is it within this? It's like you're thinking too hard about the situation. And the universe is saying, with the chariot, move. Don't be blocked. If you want to seek your truth, seek your real truth, move. Move on it. Move on this new beginning. Stop refusing what is right in front of you. Don't dwell on the past. And we have just breathe. And there's the four of swords. Resting, healing, 
going within yourself and looking to seek the truth. Just seeing if there's anything else they want to clarify on that one. My heart just started racing. Is that you? Sounds like it was you. Four of Swords. We're resting. You are just breathing. Just breathing. <clears throat> so, what will bring you to the success and growth? The healing process, the breathing process, the Four of Swords stance of relaxing and almost like a meditative state, you know? So what is that success and growth that you desire? How are you going to get there? After your healing, what are you going to do? Because I feel like that you want to move out of this Nine of Swords state. And the universe is saying, we're ready. Let's get up and move. You know? Um, this air quality, the Gemini air quality, is here. But it's in such a non-Gemini way, you know, you guys are so fun, you guys, you know, everywhere you go, I think I said this in your general reading, everywhere you go, it's like home, it's like families there, <clears throat> so after resting, and you want to get to success and growth, how do we do that, ah, you feel you're not all the way to the Ten of Cups. You're at the Nine of Cups. But this is still almost there. Almost there. And this is what you want. Like, maybe you don't want to have that full-blown love and affection yet. But you've been thinking about it. You're stuck. You're stuck within a past, you know? You're, refu you're refusing to see the new start that the, that the universe wants to give you. And they're saying you got to move. Move on the truth. Move on your truth. This isn't real. This Nine of Swords state is not real. She can get out of this. There's a, there's a small opening in that window and when she would try to crawl out of it, maybe she gets scratched a little. Maybe she gets hurt a little. But it's not death. There is still an opening. So I want to clarify the fool and the six of cups. What are you refusing to see? You're refusing to see that new beginning. You're refusing to see the six of cups love that you could have because you're dwelling on a past, right? What are you refusing to see? Oh, what's, oh, that one. There was one, another one that wanted to come out. I feel like I need to go through the shuffle again. <clears throat> there's the high priestess you're not listening to your intuition because you know and I know that you guys have kind of like you've been in a state you know you've been in a spot where you're not sure um You've been in a place where you want to put yourself in this Nine of Swords energy. But you know, you need to use your intuition. You need to use the, the High Priestess status. This card could also be information that you need to find out with seeking the truth, right? So you need to seek the truth before you can move. You need to seek the truth about your past. S seeking the truth. Ah, of course. Yep. There was heartbreak. There was heartbreak, so you don't feel like you can move with the chariot. You're at a standstill. 
You've got all these thoughts jumbled up in your head. I say that because of the Three of Swords. There was a pain and a hurt that put you, and it's and you didn't see it coming. You didn't see it coming, you know? And it almost, it came on really, really fast. And you have the Page of Cups. Wow, guys, all right. Right, okay. So we have the Three of Cups, which is total heartbreak, you know? So you want to seek the truth about this heartbreak. You don't want to move forward. You're refusing to see within your intuition what you already know. So you're sitting in this state of anguish and pain. And it's like, so we have the Page of Cups. We have the Knight, Knight of Cups. And we have Judgment. So I feel like with this, with Judgment, it's a very karmic card. It's the end of a cycle. It's when truth is shown. It's when you finally get clarity in something. But it's almost, so the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups, this could be, this is water energy. This could be um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And you may have had somebody who is very immature about their emotions offering you love. And you may have somebody else who is a little bit more mature about their emotions offering you love. And the immature emotions broke your heart and you're still dwelling on that. You're refusing to see, you're refusing to look into your intuition to see this new beginning that the universe is preparing you for. But there will be a time, there will be a time that this truth comes out. Whether it's a truth inside of you or it's a truth that somebody else needs to say, you know? And it's possible that a much more mature person who could be a water sign or just embody this emotional aspect of a water sign will be the one that's bringing you this judgment, this truth that you're seeking. So what is the Four of Swords? I mean, just breathe, meditate, heal. How are we gonna get out of that state? Because there is success and growth and happiness in your future. There is celebration in your future. So how do we get out of the meditative state that you have to put yourself in to heal? Whew. Ten of Cups. So how did... So healing brought you this happiness with the Ten of Cups. And perhaps it was the Knight of Cups that brought that happiness in. There are a lot of cups here. There are a lot of cups here. Um, and Geminis do feel, a lot of people don't think that because they are so sarcastic and witty, very, very intelligent, independent people but they do have very deep emotions as well. Um, and it's because they like embody two people in one, right? Because they're the twins, the lovers per se. Um, it's like the zodiac sign that is the, the ultimate lover. But a lot of people don't see that. So 
bring out the happiness, find the home, find the peace. And if you have to do that within yourself first, you can get to success and growth and celebration. So what I want, what is the success and growth that you're seeking? Is it love? Because I kind of feel like it is. There are a lot of cups here. There's so much love, growth sitting in front of me. And I can understand putting yourself in a nine of swords position when your heart is broken. If this doesn't resonate, please check your moon and rising sign as well. I just feel like there's so much coming for you. You know, the universe wants to start again. You know, they want, they want to refresh it. So I'm going to shuffle and then I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck for the success and growth and the nine of cups. The world, the world, the completion, the knight of swords, information. Um, this is a very knowledgeable man. He holds a very um, tough, rational position on things. This could be, it's an air sign. This could be you bringing your own success and growth and celebration. Um, and completing this cycle after being in this state. You know, and you could feel as if this Knight of Cups came in almost at the perfect time to move you along, to move you along. The Six of Swords. You have ideas. You know. If you're in a marriage, in a relationship, and there's been heartbreak, and you're refusing to see how you can move that marriage forward because you're looking in the past and you're like, there used to be so much love. There, there will be. There will be a new beginning. There will be love. And there will be healing. So you have ideas to grow to celebrate and the world is very karmic. It's going all the way back to the beginning. It's a complete circle. So pick your path with the two of wands. Pick the path that you wanna take, whether you're going to continue to refuse to see what the world is offering you in ways of healing, in ways of renewing a love, in ways of finding a love. Because if you keep yourself stuck in a nine of swords state, it's just gonna start all over again. The heartbreak, the pain, it's gonna keep you stuck. But if somebody is coming in quickly, very quickly. I mean, look at this guy. He is determined. He is determined to help you choose a path. I mean, this is action. If somebody is coming in to help you choose a path, to help you use these ideas in a very loving way, emotional, abundant way, it, it will give you the world. It will give you everything you've asked for. Success, growth, after your healing. After you've thought about all this happiness that you want, after the heartbreak. Gemini's. I love it. I love it. I just don't want you to sit in this state for too long. You know, 
because sometimes a person does. Sometimes a person does when they're trying to seek the truth. But if you stay locked in a position where it's almost like you can't feel anymore, this Knight of Cups that's bringing in a very loving, mature, love, emotions, helping you with your ideas, walking the path that you need to take. If there is an air sign, I feel like this is you though. I really do. Because you want this celebration. You want the world. You think about it. So don't stay in this for too long. Because I feel like you've been in it for a while. Again, picking a path. Do you want the, uh, the material abundance of the world? Or do you want the emotional truth, seeking the truth? And I feel like you really want the emotional side. I do, um, because there are so many cuts. So um, have a great September. I will see you guys. Um, I'll probably do the readings mm, starting like at the end of next week. Um, yeah, so the readings for October. Bye.